Hello everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. So welcome to my subscribers and welcome if you're new. I hope you're here to enjoy some fun, colorful makeup today because that's what I have coming up for you. I've decided to do a little orange look today and I, the theory, the whole theory of my channel and then this video in particular is don't be afraid of color. Don't be afraid of something that brings joy to you and that you can use in your makeup routine, no matter what color it is. So right now there are some trendy fall colors for 2023 and one of them is orange. So today we're focusing on orange, so stay tuned. So I've gone ahead and put on some concealer and a little bit of this, which is the Rare Beauty Joy. I think it's called the Soft Pinch Liquid blush or something like that. I'll, I'll have it linked for you down below. But this is a little mini as you can see. And if you ever get the chance and you want to, you know, pick up a mini of Rare Beauty, do it because they last forever. So that's what I've got on my cheeks. And I haven't put my lipstick on yet. And what I want to focus on in this video in particular is the eyes. So I have this beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills rose metals palette and i actually got this last year but there's some orange colors in here that i want to play with today because orange is the focus of the day and it's a really hot color for fall so i'm trying to show this to you without the mirror so these two right here is what i want to play with today so here we go so i'm going to start with a primer this is the urban decay eyeshadow primer which i quite like it's a pretty good one not my favorite but I do like it. So I just slap some of that on and then I use my finger. There we go, step one, primer on. Now I'm gonna start with this, this kind of shade right here. Yeah, as a transition shade. So I've got my little BK Beauty brush. It's great for transition and this one is made especially for small hooded eyes. So. It's nice and small, you can see the size difference. So if you have small hooded eyes, these are worth looking into. I'll put a link in the description below, but really great for smaller hooded eyes. So I just go like this and go back and forth. And don't worry if it's a little messy as we go along because we're gonna blend everything out at the end. So I know it looks horrific <laughs> while you're getting there, but in the end, it's beautiful. You have to trust me. <laughs> And you have to remember too, as we age, that things change, right? Like I have found lately that my eyelids have gotten a lot drier. I used to have very oily eyelids. And so I really needed a primer because everything would slip and melt away. But lately I've found that they've gotten a lot drier. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep using a primer because it just makes things very sticky. So there we go. And you know, you can always use your fingers to Blend things out too. Okay, so there's the first. So for the second shade, I'm going to use this. It's called uh, Rose Fire, I believe. Let me just check my trusty glasses. Look at these glasses, by the way. These are the oversized Oprah looking glasses, and I quite like them. I think they're pretty funky looking. So, anyway. Again, link down below if you're interested. Yes, Rose Fire, right there. You can see too in this palette that I love this color Haze. I've used this as a one and done quite a bit. So this palette, even though it's, you know, from a previous season, I am still using and still loving. So this again, eyeshadow brush from BK Beauty. So I'm gonna try and keep it to the middle mostly. there can you see it's a beautiful color so that's number two so in the inner outer corner sorry in the outer corner I'm gonna use a little tapping brush which is this one right here again with the deeper color just tap 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 okay that's how that looks now again 
Don't be afraid. I know it was a little messy and blotchy, but we're going to take our transition brush and go in and fix that. So always inward. Right? We need a little bit of sparkle in the inner corner. So let's take our finger and this beautiful, light, heavenly color right here. And just use your finger to go in and put it in the inner corner. See, that's just magic, right? Just lightens everything right up. And again, over on the other side. We're getting there. So last for the eyeshadow, I want a little bit of something underneath, just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go back to my original transition color and take this little smoker brush and go in. And I need to use my magnifying mirror for this. So I go in and I just go two-thirds of the outer. I need to blend that a little bit. It doesn't look so harsh. So I'm going to go away and finish this look. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer here to clean this up and put some mascara on and then I'll finish my whole look and I'll be right back. So here we go then, the finished look with the eyeshadow and I went ahead and put on this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on my lips and also, oh I should show you with my glasses off. I love these glasses but they're very big. So here we go, that's what it looks like and so I just finished everything off, as you can see. Put a little concealer here. Put a little eye mascara on. I think it's Pat McGrath mascara I have on. Everything will be listed down below. But uh, I quite like this look. It's very bold. There's no doubt about it. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to wear color. Because when it all comes together, trust me, it looks great. And you're never too old to embrace a bit of fun, a bit of color. So I encourage you to do it. Now, if you like this video, I hope you will like and subscribe. And if you aren't a subscriber yet and you're thinking about it, just have a poke around my channel and see if you like all the other content. And we're all about mature beauty and fashion here. And I just want to bring joy to women who are looking to express their beauty inside and out. So that's what we're all about. So please like and subscribe. So until the next video, bye-bye.